School Patrol news this evening. Next year's school board elections could include candidates with political party affiliation. That hasn't happened in a while. But there's a bill awaiting the governor's signature, which would allow school board members to run for the position connected to a political party. Our Liam Collins spoke with sponsors to find out why they think this is necessary and also a school board that's already fighting back. Liam. Hey David, Robin Smith represents Hamilton County in the General Assembly and is a co-sponsor of this bill. She says she supports it because in the last two years she's noticed too much politics seeping into the classroom and she says parents knowing members political stances how to stop that. That's absolutely correct. Politics don't belong in school and yet they are. That's why Tennessee State Representative Robin Smith says she signed on board to allowing local school board candidates to run affiliated with the political party. That's not currently allowed under state law, but a bill that passed both chambers and is heading to Governor Lee to sign would make that possible. It just provides information for uh, voters and parents about the uh, ideological leanings of those that serve on the school board. We have a system now, nonpartisan, that has worked and is working. Democratic State Representative Yusuf Hakim voted against the bill. We don't want decisions to be made because of an ideology or a political party, and I think that's what it does. If signed, the bill would let county party boards run candidates under their party affiliations. Smith says issues like systemic racism taught in schools and responses to the COVID crisis are examples of politics already seeping into the classroom. You're a disgrace. Those topics have created heated discussions at meetings for school boards in Tennessee and across the country. Died of COVID because someone wasn't wearing a mask. This is a very... All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, it's unanimous. School board members in Cleveland officially opposed the bill at their regular meeting Monday. Local school boards have no say in implementing partisan elections, but Chair Don Robinson said she felt it was important for the board to take a stand on it. I feel like this legislation may be coming from a, a national perspective, uh, what's going on nationally with school boards, but it's not going on in this community, and we don't need division on school boards. We really need school boards to work together to advocate for our, for our communities. Now, under the provisions of this bill, a local county political party would get to nominate a candidate. If either party decides to do that, the elections board would have to follow through on that and put their party affiliation on the ballot, just like any other partisan office. But David, school board candidates can still run as independents if they want to.